Uh, well, the, the first thing is that uh, as Native people, we uh, we listen differently from the way people are taught to listen today in the schools. Um, um, when uh, when 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 we talk to each other, we talk to each other's ideas and uh, emotions and message and teachings and whatever. And today's system, uh, we we grew up looking at dictionaries. So when somebody's talking to us, we're busy with deciphering the words so that we don't really get the message. So so it's it's good to, it's good to listen to to what the people what the person is trying to say instead of listening to their words. And basically, that's kind of the same thing that's going on with the, with the spiritual concept of, of the human being. Uh, back, in the, back in the days when uh, like, like, our, like our native people, we are out there in the woods and we're not hampered by any material things because uh, whatever we need we make right there. Uh, wherever we are, with, we've got the materials. And so, we don't worry about 
conscious mind is there to protect you from from your body from being getting hurt. And so so uh, it reacts without uh, the, the your mind, your thinking mind, uh, is even aware of it. So that when the, and that when when you're hooked on alcohol or drugs, your your mind and your body is all hooked. So if you're trying to quit on your own, it's it's not really. Uh, not necessarily possible because you're fighting with yourself. Your your body is telling your subconscious mind that you need alcohol to keep the keep you from shaking and all that. And the reason is that uh, the alcohol gets into your nervous system. And so, so if you try to quit on your own, you're dealing with equal power. You're just as strong as yourself when you're, as your addicted self when you're trying to recover. That's why they're always talking about higher power to help you out of that. Because uh, your addicted self is, is guided by your lower power, the, the 